We're going to look at scientific notation on Excel with really large and really small numbers. Now here in the A column, I just put numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and kept going down here. It's very easy. As soon as you have a pattern, just highlight several of them in the pattern and left click with this plus and drag it and it will just continue the pattern. That's how I did the first column. This uh, large numbers here, what I did is equals 10 and then this caret means raise to the a3 power. So the first one is 10 to the first power. The next one is 10 to the second power, 10 to the third power, etc, etc. Now everything's going along fine until we hit whatever this is 10. This is a million. Yeah, it's a million, 10 million. But why does it not say uh, 100 million? So let's look at what's actually happening right here. So you could, uh, you're running out of space, the columns too narrow. So I'm going to click up here and increase, I'll make the column width about double. And that fixes it for a little while. But notice as soon as we get uh, 10 to the 10th, it displays, but 10 to the 11th no longer displays. So we have this capital E plus 11, which means this is, oops, 10 uh, to the 11th power, it doesn't display it. Now, if you want to display it, we can do that. Click on the cell you want to display. Instead of general up here, you want to go to number and you'll need to adjust the number of decimal points. And I can do that uh, for all the rest of these. Just left click, drag, go to number, and we got a problem here. You need to make the column a lot wider. Well, maybe not that wide. I'll make it this wide. And you can shrink the number of decimals. There we go. So I forced it to display. That's for big numbers. Same thing's happening for small numbers. Before I did 10 to the A3 power. Now I'm doing 0.1 to the A3 power. And I just continue the pattern going down. We have the same problem right here. And even if we make this wider, it'll display a few more, but not all. So again, I'll go to the first shift, click the last. So I have them all highlighted, go to number. And now we need a different number of decimal places. We need a lot more decimal places. So I need to keep clicking here. You're seeing the ones start to show up and I need to make this again, column a lot wider. So I keep clicking over until I have enough accuracy to see the actual numbers. Now my numbers go, these are about 20 digits right here. Uh, if you have more than 20 digits, you might need a really wide cell. You might need to zoom out further. Uh, but for my purposes, this was sufficient for these numbers. And again, if you want the general, that'll show some of them decimal and some in scientific number you have to play around with your decimal precision number will show them all as decimals and you could go full scientific right here so they all show up in scientific notation depending on what you're doing this may be the most confusing so at least you now know how to go to number uh, so you can just see the number format